Jan, how are you? <laughs> okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for your time. I know that you're always very busy and uh, I actually came for the first time in the Paul office in Bratislava. Thanks for your time. I know that you're very active uh, in Ukraine and uh, thanks Slovakians. Thank you for your help. Thanks Slo Slo Slovakian organization and Joe. And you are one of the most active organizations in, in, in helping Ukrainians and supplying the food. I have uh, several questions concerning your activity. First, tell something about the part. What is the part? What is the philosophy? And what are the organizations who, what, which, which, uh, which are in the power system? We are uh, the Depal Slovakia mm -hmm. and uh, 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 we are work with people, uh, with homeless people and try help help them. Uh, before the war before the war and uh, also 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 today we still continue in our work mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but uh, we have uh, we have a sister organization uh, it's called Depol Ukraine mm -hmm. and uh, they work also uh, with homeless people in Ukraine for 15 years oh wow. and but now how uh, when war, war started uh, the needs is changed yeah and has changed and the philosophy has changed. Yes, and and we try uh, listen and uh, react on that uh, needs. Uh, we are three organization. Uh, it's Depol Ukraine, Depol Slovakia, and uh, Depol International. Depol Ukraine, Depol Slovakia, and Depol International. So now you are coordinate your work between each other. I coordinate in part uh, for Depol Slovakia, mm -hmm. uh, but we work very closely, and uh, and it's amazing uh, how we. Be how we can work together and uh, how that bad situation and the terrible situation can uh, united uh, people. United people. Uh, yeah, I, I know that uh, I saw in uh, Ukraine the De Paul uh, tracks, events. What actually, what exactly do you do? You supply the food, you help the people, Higgin, what exactly, what is the priority in your duty now after the beginning of the war? Our, our priority is uh, help people uh, as, as, we, as we can uh, mm -hmm. people in Ukraine mm -hmm. and uh, it's it looks uh, then we are sending five trucks uh, per week oh, uh, no, it's uh, a lot it's a lot but it's still a drop yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, most important is uh, food mm -hmm. Uh, and after that, we we sending also the hygiene. Hygiene, hygiene, and the clothes maybe. We still try uh, react uh, on on the needs, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, uh, we, we we was thinking, uh, and we we still we still asking uh, people in Ukraine, uh, what, do you what, what do you need? And they said. Uh, Clothes is not so important like food now. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. I just came from Ukraine and I can confirm uh, this information that uh, the hygiene and the uh, food, uh, this is the most important thing, especially especially now. And um, uh, what regions mostly you supply your, your, your food? Because you know that a lot of, uh, you, you are very close to Transcarpathia and other regions, but uh, the people who need it, they are in the south and the east Ukraine. What are the regions which you already help? We sending the uh, our 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 humanitarian uh, help uh, to cities like uh, Kiev, Kharkov, mm -hmm. Odessa, mm -hmm. uh, Zaporozhye, mm -hmm. Mykolaiv, uh, Zakarpatia also, uh, Lvov. There's a lot of uh, refugees there. Yeah, yeah. and uh, distribution uh, it is very uh, uh, very amazing for me uh, how the distribution is yeah. uh, it looks uh, it, it is it's each city is the, the, the different in mm -hmm. one city they they cook the they they, they have kitchen and cook the uh, soups uh, mm -hmm. or just take take the van and going to the uh, villages and in each city is a little bit different mm -hmm. yeah yeah you, you're right in every every city and every town even there is a different uh, needs and different uh, system of distribution of of food and um, uh, as you know that Russia tried to destroy all the infrastructure now yeah. in Ukraine the, uh, the stations the railway stations the electricity uh, supply there are a lot of things uh, I think the winter will be very very complicated for Ukraine and for European Union also so what are the priorities of your organization now before the winter what what you feel we have to 
to do first of all winter we, we, see, we see winter like a big challenge mm -hmm. for for us and for people in ukraine mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I, I have information that now, now in the night uh, this day is the zero degree mm -hmm, there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, there is a lot of people uh, who has uh, houses the destroyed houses mm -hmm. and, uh, and and we, we, we try prepare for for, for winter mm -hmm. uh, looking for some generators mm -hmm. uh, warm clothes mm -hmm. uh, blankets or uh, and, and it needs so something like building materials for uh, mm -hmm. f yes and uh, it's very important for for, uh, for me uh, is uh, is still continue in that work mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and uh, b because uh, because it, it will be uh, uh, a challenge yeah, yeah. and yeah. a last question concerning your team uh, what is it about your team in in uh, Ukraine do you ha do you have already formed your team I don't know your your friends your partners in different regions uh, do you have a stable team of friends who can you cooperate and uh, coordinate now, now it's stable uh, but uh, first days uh, it was created uh, uh, uh -huh. you know uh, step by step and <laughs> actually it is it's very it's very uh, amazing for me uh, uh, I communicate with uh, my colleague in uh, uh, Uzgorod, mm -hmm. Anka, and uh, all every day uh, we uh, changed a lot of uh, messages, mm -hmm. but we communicated in a, a Google Translator. <laughs> <laughs> so the language is not an obstacle. Yeah? No, no, definitely no. And and now uh, I feel like we are family. Uh, oh, it's very you know very nice to hear. Uh, uh, we we don't know each other uh, before the war mm -hmm. but we are in close uh, contact and uh, we, we made uh, or create uh, relationships you yeah. know it's a good good words that you feel like a family with not only with anka with uh, yeah with you, with yeah, yeah. I, uh, now I, I have a lot of friends uh, in ukraine and i think about them thank you thank you for your help thank uh, for your a very uh, active uh, position uh, good luck your activity good luck in our cooperation and i think we will uh, in the future take one more interview about your activity maybe in ukraine okay <laughs> thank okay you. Th thank you too <laughs>